Hey, welcome back to more As Dusk Falls. We're starting chapter two. Okay, so we were getting ready to shoot someone. Are we actually gonna do it? Oh uh, no. Go. You were gonna shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I. It wasn't loaded. I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you were just ready to do it, huh? Oh, dang. <laughs> uh, for my family. You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm just gonna stand here and let that happen? Yeah. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <gasps> Perfect timing. Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> Dante's the one I just robbed. Oh, never mind, never mind. I thought we were talking about the, uh... The, uh... The first guy that showed up at the hotel. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. Oh, uh, they're in for it now. Smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? <laughs> Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. Uh. Which one? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, what's his deal? What does that mean? He's gonna help us, right? He's sheriff of the smallest county in Arizona, but acts like he's the king of the Southwest. He can be a hell of a headache, but hopefully the headache we need. Great, so we're all going out in duffel Wonder bags. Or uh -huh. body bags. Yeah. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. And then what, run away? The kid's the smartest one of the Someone three. Gonna get that. Well, I don't know. The guy in plaid the seems like gonna catch you and this is all his idea. He's dumb too. Kid. You cut it out, or I'll put you in a corner. Hey, you can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Nobody Enough. puts Zoe in the corner. Next person <laughs> who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'd notice us. We're like... Calmly. <laughs> crack a joke? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. What would you do? I'm going to calmly defy him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No, <laughs> don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Yeah, they're going to notice it not ringing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt your later. Mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. You know who that guy reminds me of? Who? Yeah. Clint Eastwood. There's a second phone. If the Maybe Scott Eastwood. Well, no, when he was younger, you, you know. Yeah. I 
mean, Scott Eastwood looks just like him. That's yeah. too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? Oh, I don't know. I kind of have short, stubby legs. I don't know how well this is going to work. That's it. The scissors go right into his leg. Try to cover the noise. <laughs> ah! I'll cough. On three. <laughs> One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. He's gonna get someone killed too. Mm-hmm. Reach the scissors. Imagine. We're really not quick enough. Okay, I got it. Quick! I'll block the door. Yeah, but your daughter's out there. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? Uh, let's see... Well, I mean, he knows who they are. Oh, does he? I don't think he did. Why would he the know who they are? This. Oh, maybe I, I thought he did now. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys. Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. Uh-oh. Well, You're good. Keep going. Uh, let's see. You don't know about that. Once the teenager deals a psycho, Tyler's in charge? Sure. Tyler's in charge. The one calling the shots. I think his name's, um... Final answer. Tyler? <laughs> Tyler. That's right. He's coiled up pretty tight. I worry what's gonna happen if something sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would've called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it. You need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Uh, da, 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 uh, oh. One is just danger. I don't mean that. Zoe's scared. That's important. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. six year old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but. God, the thing she's seen today. Oh, poor thing. We'll get her out of there, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Uh-oh. Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. <laughs> what did you tell him? Uh, everything. Yeah, just say it. Might as well. Why is it? <laughs> We're not going to make I it do this anyway. <laughs> What's happening here? That the Holtz were behind it. And you're the one in charge. Fuck! These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a no, dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. It's not like we wanted to. Yeah, you're the jerks that ran us off the road. I know. He probably doesn't even remember doing that. Mm-mm. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Oh, we're at the interview. Up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC. Oh no! Tent. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but it's still your word against theirs. You're my, my lawyer. Help. Sign the form. Take the money. 
It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. I was gonna say, that makes you Look, blame for it. Yeah, keep mm -hmm. the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. Do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Ah. Well, he signs it, I know. Well, you, no, she said, she asked him. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I see? guess he flips out. <laughs> We're gonna flip the desk. You That's what I think of you. And your pen, right up your ass. Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you, huh? <laughs> oh, he's snoring. <laughs> he's snoring. Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. Probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was... <laughs> well, I don't have a job. Dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. That would put you to sleep, I agree. As long as boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress. But I've got a really Yikes. good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe. Ooh, Chinese food. Mm. Sorry, gotta go. Sure. Hey. Okay. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I fell asleep. Hey, you got all these chores to do, man. All what right, are you gonna do now? You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? You start on the thing you hate the the most. So, I vote wash the dishes. No one likes doing that. <laughs> sure. Cool. Now what? Mash. We can do that. I don't remember this as being how you wash dishes. <laughs> I guess it is if you don't have a dishwasher. All right. Dishes done. I thought it was going to make me do something, you know, crowded kid style, you know. <laughs> Wax on, wax off. <laughs> okay, so let's see what. Ooh, make a dessert. Yeah. No, no, we're gonna fix okay. the AC. It's hot in this beast. <laughs> okay. This shouldn't be his job, anyways. Unit on a flight deck. There should be. Well, isn't that what the landlord's for? I would think so, but most landlords are not amazing. I mean, you just don't know. Ah. Uh, it's AC by Vince. <laughs> Say, hey, there's your new company, yeah, we're AC by we're Vince. <laughs> What's next? Okay, so we we, we want a dessert. No, a dessert would be great, but we gotta pack the boxes. We're getting ready to move. Mm. Responsibilities mm. before fun. Mm. Make the dessert there's once they get there. No, you want it done before they get there. Oh, that's sad. He wanted to be a pilot. Yeah. Although, after the decisions we've made, I don't think I would trust him as a pilot. <laughs> All right, on the home stretch now. I think he's just under a lot of pressure. Oh, I don't disagree. Should we pack photos? I don't worry about the weather. I don't know. What do you think? Take a break. Make a dessert. What about the photos? Make a dessert. Uh, okay. Because it could cook while I you're think, but, packing. But he's had enough. I mean, Just make a dessert. All right, make it a dessert. Hey, this will make what? Zoe happy. See? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Now, I don't know if I would consider chocolate pudding going out in style, but, you know, <laughs> you do you. Nope. Be strong, Vince. Step away from the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, they're home. Block the door. Daddy! Hi, pumpkin. It's How like you didn't get anything day? done. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess. Mila gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> 
I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Bet. Hmm. Chinese food. Yeah, that's what she said on the phone. Mm. Oh, did she? <laughs> I said Chinese sounds good. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I wouldn't just bring that up. I, I just thought you were hungry. <laughs> it does sound good, though. Awesome. You took care of everything. Aha, uh -huh. see, she's happy with us. And she's got a dessert waiting for her, too. That's joke. Hey, Buster, of course I did. Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. I get dark real quick. You remember mm -hmm. what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. <laughs> you told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Pudding! Chocolate pudding! Ta-da! Mmm, <laughs> good call. <laughs> God, I'm starving. <laughs> Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. So she's got a PhD. Yeah. Why are they moving for his job then? I don't know. I mean, couldn't he find that something? That's a good question. I mean, if she's already got a job. Maybe it's easier for her to find a Come job. On. Let's get you maybe, anywhere. Maybe, but I mean, I wouldn't move to where he needs. I mean, you know what I mean? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. How are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so... Scared because I never sleep in the dark. They said she's hey, six. You know mm -hmm. I yeah. had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind, and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? Like you have to pee. <laughs> we should face our fears, or it's okay to be scared. I don't know. Those are both pretty good, aren't yeah. they? I mean, I mean. Um, we should face our fears? Sure. Be brave. When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Exactly. Try and get some sleep, okay? She's wise. <laughs> Love you. All the way to the moon. I want mommy. Oh, that's that's wrong. <laughs> I would feel that way too. Like, I went through all this, I put you down, and this is how I get thanked? <laughs> uh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Hey, man, you did your best. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Okay, what year is this from? 98. Oh, is it 98? Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? Sweet Excuse Bruce. me? Did I miss your sweet little smile, cupcake. One last drink. Huh. Oh, and the plot thickens. <laughs> Why did the lights go out? Now, if you'd give me that information yeah. earlier, things might be different now. <laughs> No outage, the damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. Make a bomb, you've got chemicals. Let's see. Let's search the desk. Okay, that's the desk. Yep. Could be useful. Can you pick a lock, though? I could try the window, but I don't no, think it's gonna work. It looks like there's bars on it. <laughs> Not getting out that way. Uh, I could try the door. I'm just checking around real quick before. Okay, so we'll try the door. That's all that's really left, I think. Hey, hey. Oh, gotta pick a lock. All right. Got it. And. Oh, okay. I 
can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> what a stud. <laughs> nah, too dark out there. I can barely you know, him doing this, though, is just going to get him in more trouble. I know. the hostages. I don't think they're hey, gonna kill anyone. I'll check the back door. But we're over here like sneaking around, Mission Impossible style. <laughs> Need to take out the angry one. I know. She's scared of the dark. I think she should be scared of a bullet more. They really don't see him. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Like they're totally gonna see him going upstairs. I know. The stairs. Take our chances cross country. Throw something over there. It works in video games. Keep quiet. Let me think. Seriously. You can probably hear him breathing real hard. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. Zoe comes out and stabs him. <laughs> You're not my dad. Oh wait, you. Are oh. Is that the brother? J. Oh, it says J. Okay. The Subtitles help. Real quiet. There. That one came from the hall. Why are we hiding? Because I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy. Oh, it's him. <sighs> yeah, the brother. I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I think he's a good kid. I yeah. I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I am. Just hold her. She just needs love but right now. I need now. to tell her to be strong. She'll totally get that. I am too, Pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Think they're gonna try to come in? Uh, yeah, let's warn him. I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before before the lights come back on. Okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. Well. I don't know. <laughs> Cupcake, I think, can stay, and Grandpa can just stay with her. <laughs> I feel bad for him, though. He can't help how his brothers are. I mean, he didn't have to go along with it, but... They probably he, forced him to. I was going to say, yeah, he probably didn't have a lot of choice. <laughs> Considering he didn't do anything violent, maybe he can get a plea deal and only do some, like, probation or something. Although, this sheriff's probably going to end up shooting him. If he's the way they describe him. How'd they leave? Mm. Well, no, please. Right. So the bad guys? Yeah, because the back door was open. Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where the holds? I think they went out the back. We if they're lucky, they just left. Yeah. Give me your wrist. Are you hurt? No. Are you? No, I'm fine, Cupcake. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I was gonna say that's okay, police. Go. Everybody down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Now, if we they were the smart, cops. the brothers would have left. Really? I'll cover you. You have a gun drawn. I'm surprised she didn't fire. I was gonna say. Oh. I'm surprised they only sent two in. I think they have oh, more than three. that. Okay, now they have more. We won't make it. I'd stay uh, hidden, dude. Too many bullets are flying. Choose carefully. We're gonna stay hidden. We're gonna take a bullet, aren't we? Not if we stay there. Too dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motorlock. What the hell are you doing? Getting shot. He will set the example. See. 
Äh. Sanchez is hit! <lacht> I knew this was a bad idea. I'm struggling to care. Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! I think us not running is good. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll get brownie points. See? We stayed. We're good. Oh. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, uh, hey, he's lucky he didn't get shot. Jim, are you okay? We're honestly Dad. all lucky. <laughs> he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If yep. I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. See, hey, folks, car trips are us? not worth it. Just take the plane. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna say why do you run. We know where you ran. Be stubborn. You know where you are. Jim, For sure. I think he do does you know though. Right yeah. Now? Arizona, Sam Bluff Motel. Hmm. No, it's called the Desert Dream. That was the old name before I bought it. Oh wow. I'll, what? I'll be all right. I, Wait a minute. I just need a, a minute to, to get my... Wait a minute. Is Was this planned? He was pretty Easy. nonchalant about the car breaking down. He needs to see a doctor. Did he plan this? Did he plan for us to break down? Like, was this all... Is he the Holt Is grandfather? He... Oh, that would figure. Like, are they all family? Something's not right. <laughs> I think Cupcake's the leader. Dale, go see if you can barricade <laughs> the second floor. Hmm. No, but it is weird that he knows the name before. It means he's been here. Mm -hmm. What? No, no, stop. You listen <gasps> to me. Oh, I just figured it out. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. Which means no. Show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does we got a vending machine. We're good. <laughs> Not from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie delight. Ew. <laughs> Doesn't look like a, a veggie pizza kind of guy. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. All right. Well, Zoe can't be split from us. I, I guess it has to be Grandpa, right? I guess. I don't know. No, but my theory from earlier. They were talking to someone on the phone, like someone they were checking in with. Mm-hmm. Finally got confirmation from the movers. What if it was Grandpa? Tomorrow morning. Oh, maybe. We go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. My mom. So they're going back home. Pride yeah, it's her home. Goodbye. Interesting. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? I'd say, yeah, I'd say divorce. <laughs> six. He's pretty much nailed it. I'm going to go with divorce. I hear divorce is stressful. <sighs> anyway. Tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? 
Sure, cupcake. Sorry, I, I'm vindictive. <laughs> oh, by the way, you got a message. Something about cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? Uh, thought I thought it was the movers. movers, which is true. I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. Oh, come on. He obviously wasn't spying. Some things are private. It'll wake Zoe. I don't know. I mean, Hello? yes. Private, like your affair. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Mm, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm going to let her finish. <laughs> Good luck to you, too. Bye. The way Someone she's smiling. The, the one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? Because you're obviously defensive about it, which mm. means you're up to no good. Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy. But you've got stars. Yes, sweetie. We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy. And maybe Bruce. Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. <sighs> I want to look through past messages. Yeah. So, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. Cupcake's an awful friendly name, though. Mm-hmm. He's very insistent. You like him? Uh, you never mentioned him. You never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't Low know what you're talking about him. <laughs> <sighs> Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Just drink it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Poor guy's kind of stressed out, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. Well... I you guys wear perfume? I mean, cologne. <laughs> this last year wasn't a great one for us, but nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? Uh, I'm going to say, okay, I'm sorry, just because I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But the fact that she's being called Cupcake really bothers me. Because mm -hmm. that's a pet name. You know, you, you don't talk to a coworker and be like, okay, see you later, sweetie, or honey, or... Yeah. Cupcake. I just... Mm. Okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. It's just... Yeah. Like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you, too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. I still, I still think something's off, but we'll let it slide. But I think, I think, what if the grandpa planned the heist? Yeah. Planned the car to get, you know, have them run the car off the road. He planned to get hit in the head. Are you okay? 
so that no, he would take him out of the out of the building. I'm just tired with the move and everything. Maybe he's got a vendetta against the sheriff too. Yeah. We better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. I have no idea, but that would be fun. Good night. Mm-hmm. Night. Yeah, see, she she looks troubled. Mm-hmm. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... Yeah. How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, not me. Please. <laughs> T- take Zoe. I'm, uh, well, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Which would you pick? I'd probably want Zoe to go. I'd want... See, I'm torn, because Zoe's our kid, and you don't want anything to happen to her. But on the other hand, Jim's an annoying old man who has a brain issue and might die. So if he stays, that could be on our conscience. So Well, it could be on your conscience if your daughter dies, too. This is true. So I I think Jim's annoying. Jim, you could stay. <laughs> It's got to be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. And take police custody will take care of her. She Come might be. Back. She's already scarred. Mm-hmm. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary. But you're going to have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. Uh-oh. Hey, look, you dropped this. <laughs> oh, that kid's nice. Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. At least he's letting us walk her out. Yeah. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? Only if we're lucky, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna shelter her. She's six. The answer's no, because I'm here, and you know what I am. We'll cross that bridge. An aircraft mechanic. You're supposed <laughs> to say superhero. Anyway, I promise no one from our family is going to die. At least she didn't say overweight. <laughs> <laughs> That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. And you must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Your daddy told me all about you. Best if we make this quick. You'll be okay. Just go. Um, I would say that I love her. Okay. You know how much I loved you, right? All, all the way to the moon. That's right. To the moon! You get scared, you just look up at the sky and remember that, okay? Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. Now, I don't doubt that the sheriff's done some bad things in the past. Daddy, please, don't go. Uh-oh. But what if you don't come back? I'll always be with you. You know, all the best things about me, they're part of you already. So wherever you go, I'll always be with you. You will? Always. Hey, Horse ghost. Hurry it up. Mm-hmm. Come on, kid. <sighs> oh, I don't like that sound effect. Did we just make a bad Give him decision? Give food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. 
But we don't have pizza. Like, I've got good news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're about to have a man on the inside. Is it me? Am I the man on the inside? <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Good job, Sam. At now least you got help. Up and don't do anything stupid. How many people are we plan hey, on feeding? Don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. I Enjoy had a feeling. At least it's not a gun. Yeah. I thought he was gonna give us a gun. We've already shown that we can't handle a gun. <laughs> 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 it's a pager. It's that guy. dates this a You're little late. bit. No yeah. <sighs> well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You <sighs> I really hope you're right. I kind of feel like most bad guys would cover up the windows so they can't see place. in. Mm -hmm. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Well, no one's died yet, so... You're not haunted. <sighs> oh... Vince, is Zoe okay? She's fine. Traumatized. How's your head? Mm. Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. Until I don't in two months. Because did they say he only has a few months to live? So, did um, you I don't know. Meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Uh, he's up to something. He's up to something? Or he'll keep us safe, whichever. I, he'll keep us safe. Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We'll see. Won't well, really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you saw the money he's got hiding in his house. <laughs> Jay, you gonna eat? Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Wouldn't it have been easier to put some sort of like sleeping medication in the pizza? Like in the sauce? Oh, yeah. And then all of them just eat it and go to sleep? Yes. Can I count? Uh, 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 maybe? Say yes. Okay. Well, the little girl's out of the way, so... I mean, who are we trying to protect at this point? Ourselves and... Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? I guess those two? Maybe Michelle? Um... Nope. Don't think I do. The black book. I didn't even see them take the black book. Well... Are you serious? The boy... Didn't he, he put a book in his pocket? No, you can't have it. Oh, maybe. I have a feeling it has something that has maybe his his illegal activities written down, like a mm. ledger. But it looks like a regular book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. But they're For veggie us. pizzas. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't respect him. Sorry. Ain't happening. Come on, man. Just share the food. Here you go. Getting all up in my shit again. Why should I? Huh? You're going to die over. You're going to die over veggie pizza. <laughs> but we're going to joke about it. Because <laughs> why not? Because cold pizza tastes like a sweaty sack of balls. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That's me, always the crowd pleaser. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. 
idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. This is true. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. Oh, this is not a good idea. <laughs> money, but it's not like... Tyler. I know we're looking shit. for the little little Jason's book, nature, but me. Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. There's this girl I got my eye on. Not here. Though why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, tease him, tell a joke. Let's feign interest. This girl, Jessica. You want to tell me about her? No. I don't want to fucking tell you about her. <laughs> She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. So, uh, does that mean no pizza? I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <laughs> uh, I wasn't hungry anyway. Uh... Did we mess that up? <laughs> I think so. He's brave to be, like, paging him, like, right here. You got my helicopter? Yeah, do you hear it? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk. But why you picked my house? Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. And we stormed What's the place. Planning? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. Yeah, but he's got a mouth. You mess with us? It's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Are they gonna send Jay? Pizza boy. You and I are going for a stroll. Oh goody. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. Or else what? <laughs> you have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. <laughs> That's <laughs> rude. <laughs> Wait to be on a beach somewhere, eating tamales, drinking tequila. Uh, yeah, you'll get there. Yeah, he's holding a gun to your face. I don't think. Almost there. Just keep a cool head. Cool head, right? You sound like Tyler. Come on. Well, he is the Let's rational one. Back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Yeah, oh, me that's neither. <laughs> mm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourself. Hey, we do what we can. <laughs> I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. And I drank that lemonade. Ah. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. The thing that he money. wants the book. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me. Step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. So, I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Either Jay has it, have it or Jay. his wife took it. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Wait a minute. As I say, you're drifting. There you go. Sorry, Dale. No, don't warn him. Don't warn him? No. But if he gets killed, that could kill everybody inside. No, it will be fine. Nah. No. Okay, you pick what you want, but we're gonna warn him. Hey, Dale, you might want to. Die! 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 Die
Take him out. There's a reason why I did that. That's how you get shot. It's your fault. No, I agree. But if we don't help him here, there's a, a really strong chance he's going to shoot a hostage. And think about who's left. He might get shot anyway. Jesus Christ. He's got a sniper on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Nope. He figured he killed the brains. It's okay. I'm alright. But see, they would have shot her if I didn't say anything. Maybe. There's a good chance. Oh. That was a bad move. You're in trouble now. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, I don't think he cares. Hmm. Yeah, see, the, he, he cares more about the book. Wow. I think it's the book that Jay took. Remember, he took a real small book off the shelf and stuck it in his pocket. I think you're right, yeah. I don't think he realized that was a black book. It probably had a fake cover on it. Mm-hmm. Because wasn't it, like, about birds or something? Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. He just like, oh, hey, I'm taking this. And then he stuffed it in his pocket. Mm-hmm. Well, this has definitely gotten more intense, hasn't it? <laughs> no, I feel like we're going to end up helping them by the time this is all said and done. Maybe Dante is the real bad guy. Well, I think he is. And I think Grandpa is in on it. Because how else would he know about this building before yeah. it was its current name? That just seems fishy to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we stick by family, whatever it costs. We're fierce. And we have good reflexes. So basically, I think exactly what we got last time. Hmm. That's that's pretty much what we did. So go us. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.